A new feature on Uber will allow riders to see the details on how drivers rate them, and a lot of New Yorkers may not like the results. Oh boy, all right, according <laughs> to a new survey, city passengers are the rudest, but is it a bad rap? We sent Teresa Priolo to get reaction. Once again, New York City is tops. But this might be one award we'd gladly return. The rudest Uber passengers in the country. I want to see the data. I don't buy it. Well, as it turns out, there is data compiled by Uber. It's part of their new revamped privacy center. Uber told us, quote, we launched the privacy center, which features a ratings breakdown to provide users with more transparency and easier access to their data. We hope that by giving users a peek into how their rating is calculated, we can help encourage positive experiences between riders and drivers on every trip. One of the first steps toward repairing that relationship, talk more and take your garbage with you. Uh, I don't know if I agree with that. I, it just, I feel like New Yorkers generally have that fame, but I don't think that applies to everyone, at least in my experience. You're not surprised? That's what I want to know. I would not like to talk in the Uber. Some Ubers get sad that we don't talk. I had one guy who said that not a single person out of like 20 people he had that day said a word to him. Someone actually told him to stop talking. We're always on our phones. I think it's a perception thing. Like Everyone I know would be polite when you get into a car. You know, we're all hardworking people and they are too. So yeah, you'd be nice. The top five rudest cities were New York, Seattle, D.C., Boston, and the Twin Cities. The nicest? San Antonio. It's because it's warmer there. Everyone's happier <laughs> and warmer weather. Rounding out the top 10 rudest passengers, San Fran, Philly, L.A., Baltimore, and Chicago. Yes, apparently, riders in L.A. are nicer than riders in New York. On the Upper East Side, Teresa Briolo, Fox 5 News.